Good evening. I'm Brandon Stack, and you're watching Cold Case Noir Files, where we take a deep dive into cases even police detectives can't solve. Welcome to this week's three-part special, where we investigate the disappearance of Mrs. Elaine Wheeler, wife, heiress, and potential fugitive, and her possible supposed connection to a double homicide in New York City over 12 years ago. My investigation began when my team and I received a package in the mail. Going through the contents of the usual newspaper clippings, police reports, photos, and a few evidence bags, I came across a random headshot of a local LA actress with an attached note instructing me to call New York City's district attorney. It had been many years since the Elaine Wheeler case had any light to it, yet I vaguely recall that Lieutenant Walker had been the lead detective on the scene. Now, the district attorney for the city of New York, and was obviously eager to use our services and expertise to possibly reopen the case. Sir, been a while. I received your package. Uh, a bit cryptic, if you ask me. Not a thing at all. You know, I'm so sick of this real case. It nearly put me into early retirement. Couldn't quite put my finger on that bizarre situation. I mean, it wasn't until a few years had gone by when the city decided to bulldoze the building across the street from the Wheelers that two bodies were even discovered. But after some DNA testing, it linked back to her husband and a friend, Mrs. Uh, Cookie, I believe. Yes, it was uh, Mrs. Cook. Uh, Blanche was her name. Prior to that time, the Wheeler residence had been deserted, and we really couldn't track down anyone. Not even her former German housekeeper. Only clue we had was an invoice that showed up from a talent agency about the actress they had hired to pose as a doctor. Right. Dr. Lake. Wait a minute. Was Dr. Lake Suzanne Plachette? As in Rome Adventure? The Birds? Bingo. The same. I'll head over there this week and poke around. You know where to find her? It's Hollywood. Everybody knows everything about everyone. Brilliant. You know where to send your invoice. Over and out. With this new information, I was easily able to track down Miss Suzanne Plachette at the CBS studios in Burbank. Rumor has it. She's currently shooting her upcoming season of the Bob Newhart Show. I wish I knew what kind of car she drove. You know, she probably has a car service anyway. <laughs> I don't know what's that. Oh wait, I think that's her. Oh, that's, that is her. Excuse me, Miss Plachette. No, no, I told TV Guide I have no issues working with Bob. Thank you. No, no, I'm, I'm not with, uh, with TV Guide. I'm actually um, investigating a case and I believe you have some information. A case? from my ex-husband, that uh, No, no, this is about the Wheelers and uh, a job that you took in New York. Sweetheart, I take many jobs in New York. <laughs> You're gonna have to be a bit more specific. Okay, a con acting job. Oh, a con. Yes, that, that does ring a bell. Mr. Wheeler, you say? Very handsome man. 
<laughs> oh, when he had that crazy wife, she was obsessed with windows. Oh, you know, I had a red wig back then. <laughs> Not my color. Uh, do you know what ever happened to Mrs. Wheeler? No, I only know what I get paid to know. I had an agency back then who would get me these little bit parts. Uh, did you ever speak to anyone else in the house? Like I said, Mr. Wheeler, very handsome. He would take me out to dinner once a week, you know, to rehearse lines. <laughs> there was that jealous girlfriend of his. Oh, that would be Mrs. Cook. Oh, I never caught her name, but I did catch her ridiculous hairdo. Oh, and there was that sweet German maid. Uh, she would help me rehearse lines for auditions. Uh, yes, uh, that would be uh, Helga. She moved back to Germany to be with her family. No, sweetie. They emigrated to Jersey. Thank you. J Jersey? Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you. Jersey? After hours of digging through the local and New York databases, I came across information that connected Helga Lachman from Cologne, Germany, to Elaine Wheeler, Nay Johnson family estate. Based currently in New Jersey, specifically on the Jersey Shore, as Miss Plachette had told us, Helga owns and operates a successful bed and breakfast and was kind enough to speak to us regarding the unsolved case. Funny how memories work. Whether they are good or bad, joyful or tragic, the past always seems to haunt us. It's very kind of you to open up your home to us. We've been trying to put the puzzle pieces together for this case for quite some time, but we keep running into a dead end. You know, it wasn't until recently we discovered you hadn't really left New York. On the contrary, I did leave to care for my mother. You see, while most of my family moved to the States, my mother stayed behind to care for her sister. I would often send money back, but it was only a few years before she passed on. Ah, oh, didn't know. Oh, I'm, I'm very sorry for your loss. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure she had a great influence on your caring nature. <laughs> <laughs> no, she was a grouch. <laughs> she did pass on her cooking skills to me, though. Would you kill them us three? Oh, no, no, I, I really must be going. But before I leave, uh, tell me about this phone conversation you recorded. Ah, that devilish woman, Mrs. Cook. I suspected an affair from the beginning with her late night and smudged lipstick. I asked a neighbor, an odd friend of mine, to assist in tapping the phone so we could catch her in the act. Just keep quiet and listen. I've only got a minute. I'm sick of games. I've had her leftovers for far too long, and I'm not going to sit and watch another big opportunity pass me by. There's a direct train that leaves once a week at Penn Station every Friday night. If everyone does as they're supposed to, we can have a clear shot out of here. Just hire that Susie girl you auditioned from the agency after we hang up. Between my methods of persuasion and your money, I can't see why this won't work. Just get the paperwork signed. That's all you have to worry about, love. Shit, someone's coming. I'll say... Well, I wish there was more information dropped on that phone conversation, but still a nice gem to have, and any news is helpful. I didn't know it was such a great mystery to find her. I wished it so that I didn't lose touch with my princess. I, I keep this clipping of her close to my heart so as not to forget the incredible blessing she gave to me. Wait, who wrote this? Uh, C.C. Uh, Applebee? Applebee, applesauce, apple strudel. Who knows? <laughs> now, back to work I go. I have six guests arriving this weekend. Right. C.C. Appleby. That was a name in which I was not familiar. However, that photo of the author on that clipping has stuck with me long after we left the East Coast. Over the past decade and a half, I had become a bit of an activist and quite familiar with journalists and high-profile women who were making noise in the media. But Appleby? This woman in the photo looked exactly like SoCal local feminist, hippie, and do-gooder, 
Caroline Connors. Was it possible that she was somehow connected to all of this? Well, here goes nothing. I I'm in the frame too, right? I I'm so nervous. I, I should have brought a book of hers to sign or something. Hello. May I help you? Miss Connors? Miss it. And you are? I'm Brandon Stack. I was wondering if, uh... Spit it out. Well, there was... Sorry, I... I'm on I... pins and needles here. Um... Uh, uh, Applebee. What was that? Applebee. C.C. Applebee from New York. Well, when? The suspense thickens. You wrote an article, maybe 12, 15 years ago? Great many, I gather, and a few books under multiple pseudonyms. The question is, are you a fan? Or a foe? Darling, who's at the door? We haven't quite reached that chapter yet, my sweet. Oh, uh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to interrupt. But you did. I'm just not sure if I should make a dash for my quill or my sword at this point. What's this all about? How are you here? I live here. The question is, how are you here? With a lot of sleuthing. Your former maid, Helga, she showed me a clipping that had your headshot on it, uh, connected you to Mrs. Wheeler. Uh, please, do not call me that. I'm Mrs. Connors now. Hmm. Well, your husband. Ex-husband. Late husband. Right. Mr. Wheeler, they found his remains across the street from from the old house you lived in? Old news, boy. Well, surely you've heard rumblings of the police looking for you. Have they been? <laughs> I'm shocked. I, I mean, I guess we've been living in Malibu and I just must have missed that memo. <laughs> well, th they found the bodies at Mr. Wheeler and Mrs. Cook. Oh, now that's a name I don't miss hearing. Rumors of the affair? I mean, th those bodies, they... Surely you don't believe everything that you hear. Uh, you don't believe that I'm connected to these deaths. Of course I think you're connected to the deaths. Most of New York does. Young man, I think it's time that you leave Camelot. <laughs> Not until I close this case. I don't have time for this. However, I will leave you with this before you show yourself the door. People disappear all the time. Sometimes they're missed. Sometimes they're not. Do you think you would be missed? Now, the way I see it, Mr. Stack, you have two options. One. You take this very generous check that I'm going to write you, and you disappear and forget you ever saw my face. You can buy yourself an election like Lieutenant Walker. Invest in a bed and breakfast like Helga. <laughs> you can produce your own network television show. Hell, I don't care what you do. Just take it and disappear. And the other option. My Guinevere and I make you disappear.